All right. Algebra 1, 7-3, scientific notation. Scientific notation is something we have seen before, but we're going to break it down and, and look at it just a little bit. Um, if I take 1.48 and I multiply it times 10 to the fourth power. There's a couple of things we could do here. We could take 10 to the fourth power, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, and then multiply it times 1.48. Or we can understand that the power is a 10. Every time I multiply by a power of 10, 10 times 1 is 10, 10 times 10 is, two, is 100, 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000, I'm just moving my decimal place over. So what I want you to do is I want you to take 1.48 out to the right-hand side, and then whatever the power is, because that's a positive power, I'm going to remove that decimal four spaces. And because it's positive, I'm going to go to the right. One, two, three, four. And whatever I have in my spaces, I'm going to fill with zeros. So that gives me an answer of 14,800. Now, let me take a look at that same example. I'm going to do 1.48. But I'm going to multiply it by a power of negative 4. So I'm going to do the same step, 1.48. I'm going to move that out just a little bit. And I notice that's a negative exponent, so that means I'm going to move it four spaces to the left. One, two, three, four. Filling in everything with zeros. So that gives me an answer. of 0 0.000148. So notice the difference between positive exponents and negative exponents. Positive to the right, negative to the left. Now, you'll also notice that my, an my initial number is 1.48. There is a rule for that. That number has to be greater than 1 And it also has to be less than 10. So 2.47, 9.2, 9.8, 1.3, any of those as long as they're greater than 1 and less than 10. Keep that in mind, and we'll get to uh, an example here in just a minute where we're going to have to um, change a value because of that rule. So let's take a look at something the other way. If I had the number 500, excuse me, 56,500, and I wanted you to write that in scientific notation, I need to pull the number out of there that is greater than 1 and it is less than 10 if I were to put a decimal somewhere. I see that that number is 5.65. I know I'm going to be multiplying by a power of 10. Now the question is, how far am I going to be going? Well, here's where my actual decimal is. Here's where I need it to be. So I count the spaces. One, two, three, four. And because that's in a positive direction to the right-hand side, that's going to be 10 to the fourth power. Okay, now I need to pick my number out of here that is going to be greater than 1 but less than 10. And that is 8.346. So from that decimal to my original decimal, that's four spaces to the left. So that's going to be 10 to the negative 4. You'll see the differences. Um, obviously, if you've got a decimal and a bunch of zeros, then you're going to have a negative exponent. And if you have a bunch of zeros at the end, and it's not a decimal, then you're probably going to have a positive exponent. So let's look at one more thing. If I were to multiply If 
I were to multiply those numbers, um, the first thing I want to do is I want to multiply the 4.6 and the 3.7. And that comes out to be 17.02. And then we learn in the last couple of sections that if I have like bases and I'm multiplying them together, all I do is add their exponents. So this is going to be times 10 to the ninth. Now, the problem is, is that is not scientific notation because you'll notice that 17 is greater than 10. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to first tell me what the number is. So I have 17.02, and I'm going to move that decimal because it's positive, nine spaces to the right. One, two. I'm going to fill everything in with zeros. And then go back and put in my commas. Okay. So that is um, 17 billion, 20 million. And so now I want to take that and put it into scientific notation. So that's going to be 1.702. And then if I were to count those spaces over, that's going to be 10 spaces. So they will ask you to write it in standard form and also write it in scientific notation. So that's the steps to doing that. Okay, about seven minutes for Chapter 7, Section 3, Scientific Notation.